All right, so it's the day after Hurricane Dorian. It's Sunday, and I'm out here in Folly Mountain. I just pulled over to the side of the road. Uh, I'm gonna check out the Grandfather Clock Falls and a couple others uh, on the Folly River. Let's get started. First, I gotta find a way down the tracks. I know there's another way that you can get a little closer. Uh, but I wanted to see the little tunnel on the side of the tracks and I don't really feel like bushwhacking is any more than necessary So let's do this Actually, I'm just gonna turn on my GPS record on my phone so I can record exactly where I went do 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 slippery the quicker I'm out of the train tracks area the better I don't think it's overly a safe spot to be if a train actually came along so let's keep going So if I remember correctly, I think there's a, a tunnel punch through the cliff up here. Uh, I think I saw that on Trail Peak. Let's take a look. I'll update when I see it. Well, I'm past the cliffs and I don't see the tunnel. Maybe I overlooked it or maybe it was the other direction and I just misread it. I'll try to check if I got time when I get back. But now at least I feel like if a train came, I could get off the tracks and get out of the way. So I've been walking for about 20 minutes. Uh, I got a slow pace. You might be able to do a little faster, but I, I must have missed the Folly Tunnel. Uh, I'll try to see it if, on the way back, like I said earlier. But it's a cool looking area. I don't know if I you know fancy seeing a train coming along, but I think this uh, metal box up here, if I'm not mistaken, is where I need to walk in towards to go to the uh, the waterfall. So, we'll take a look. Oh, what do we got here? Cool. All right, so this gray box is what I could see from the sky last time I flew my drone earlier this summer and the grandfather clocks is adjacent to it. Uh, might be a different story once I try to find a spot to safely get down here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch and put the GoPro on my headgear so I have both hands free. So hold up and we'll do that. All right, headgear on, hopefully it's on good. Hopefully you can hear me good and hopefully you can see everything good. Just gonna take my time and Sure, this will be a blast coming back up. So far, I don't think anything's taken a major hit over here that I can see from the hurricane. It's steep, but I've been down worse. All right, so we're past the rock slope, which wasn't that high. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it's easier for me to say going down because coming back up, I'm sure it's going to be fun. But I think it's only like 100 meters in. I can hear the water, so I don't think I really have to worry about getting lost, but I do have my GPS track on my phone, I'll just follow it backwards. After you get down the slope, the forest is pretty easy walking. Now, given that the hurricane was just yesterday, it's, it's wet, but it's not as wet as you'd think. Hopefully we still you know, have some impressive water flowing. That's what I'm hoping for. 
and it sounds impressive to me but i've never been here in person before so <laughs> i'd imagine it's always kind of impressive anyway Uh, okay. Just kind of following the path of least resistance and the water is definitely getting louder and louder. Hopefully I have somewhere I can get a good footing and fly. I think that's the little stream from earlier. I could probably even just follow that back up. That's probably what I'll do. See that? Hopefully this camera's at a good angle. I'm not kicking myself later. You hear lots of action. I don't yet see anything. But I have to be close. Oh yeah. All right. Shit, I might have been better off to go down the other way. Because this doesn't look safe anywhere near the edge here. Try to find somewhere safe to go down. I'm not getting too close to the edge here with this old rotten stuff. No thanks. I'm not sure if that's the grandfather clock. I think it is. Take this headgear off. I'm going to hazard a guess that that is it. But from this approach, there's nowhere safe to get down, especially with the how wet and rotten feeling everything is. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I think I'm going to go up river of the falls and uh, try to get down there because this side is just too dangerous. I'll check back. All right, I'm back on the other side of the little creek. I think I'm gonna attempt to go down this way because it looks a lot safer. Just thicker bush to whack through. Another little creek. There's probably tons of these after the hurricane. It's relatively pretty easy bushwhacking just with some camera gear that I have. It makes it a little difficult, but if you were just to come down here with your phone or something to take some pictures, it wouldn't be very hard. This is steep, but it doesn't, doesn't look deadly. Definitely can get a little closer to the river. Hopefully I can get a footing and get some pictures. Yeah, definitely better. A lot of rotten stuff here. It's nice to be sure of a good footing, testing my step every step of the way. All right, so I made solid footing. Now I'm gonna get some good shots. find anywhere to fly the drone safely uh, which kind of sucks I'll try to go way upstream and get a better picture with the GoPro and then I'm gonna go all right so I don't know how well you can hear me but there was no flying the drone I'll show here it was out of control after it took off and I'm pretty comfortable with having to I'm pretty comfortable flying it by waterfalls and these tight spaces I do it all the time but 
it wasn't slowing down and I couldn't stabilize it. So I got lucky and as it was drifting past me, I caught it. Hopefully the footage on the drone itself isn't corrupted and looks as cool as I think. Hopefully. So I'll try one more time upstream, I mean downstream, to find somewhere I can get at least some good non-drone pictures and then I gotta head out of here. So anybody that's watching this and wants to come here, it's quick, but you gotta be really sure of your footing. I've fallen through rotten stuff before and you'd probably die in a place like this or severely wound yourself. Whew. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't wear a sweater. Great thinking. Oh. Ow. Oh. Whew. Not quite a sprained ankle. Ah. But so I was on the edge of a. If that happened on the edge of a cliff, it would have been a different story. Whew. Slipped through a rotten log and a little harder and that would have been real bad. Just on the ankle, not, you know, not a tumble down a cliff into a gorge. So far it's not looking uh, any more promising for me to make my way down, especially after that. Oh, that hurt. Nope, <laughs> that's straight down. I'll go a little bit further because it's backtracking anyway. I'm pretty sure I just can go uphill and get to the train tracks and then I'm good. I think what you could do, if you did go down the way I went, you could cross the river where I tried to fly my drone. I just didn't want to get wet and I have a lot of expensive gear. I'd rather not lose. So yeah, you, you could cross it and probably go up the other side, I think. Might reduce the amount of bushwhacking you have to do. Check out another spot to go down. It's not quite as steep, but it's not that looking promising looking. It's not bad. Let's take our time. Make this hike worth the effort worth the effort. If I can get down there, it looks like a pretty good spot to be. Still really, really slippery. Need both hands again. Whew. This isn't the brightest thing to do. A rope probably would be an asset. Uh, test my footing there, it doesn't look good. Oh, nothing good here. At least it's not that steep. Yeah. All right, so I'm under the rough patch. I don't know if I want to go back up that or not. <laughs> You can see that. I take it ex extraordinarily slow. But I usually don't get opportunities like this, so I just wanted to make it worth my time. Down to the river. Still not very optimistic about flying the drone, but I might be able to get upstream far enough to get a picture. 
That's all I want. It's just a quick picture. I don't think there's any way to do that without getting wet. This place is gorgeous. Oh man. Hopefully my head cam is straight and getting a relatively good shot of all this. I think I can get close. Okay, I can see it. Just a little left to go. So far, I haven't had to get wet. I knock on wood, but it's only rocks. I just want to get a little closer to make this 100% worth my while. Whew, not the best plan, but I'm here. You probably can't see it good on here, so I'll get a little closer. It's a good slow mo footage. Okay, I just finally got up out of there. I just climbed out of the ravine. I just marked on my GPS track. I'll, I'll share it on, on Trail Peak if it's not there. Whew, if it's there, I'll put it in the description of this video. But I think this will be an easier way where I come out to, uh, to get down. It's a little leveler. Uh, you're way better off going downstream and walking upstream. I got wet even though I didn't intend to. That's why I did wear old shoes, but I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, uh, go downstream from the falls and then walk upstream because there's no safe way to go the other way. But it's beautiful and that's Grandfather Clock Falls after Hurricane Torian. Uh, so I'd really appreciate it. This was a lot of effort. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time to make these trips because I'm a dad. I know every lots of people are, are dads, but my life at this particular point is pretty busy. So I appreciate it, you know, to help me out. Maybe go out of your way a little bit this time and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, like and share the video if you could. I'd really appreciate that. And let's go find our way out of here. I see the tracks on my map should be just up here. So hopefully it's that simple. Definitely recommend not doing this hike with any heavy gear, any young people, old people, somebody in better shape than me should probably do it. And not after a hurricane or waterfall because it took me forever to make sure each footing was secure. 
before I take it to the next step. And even then, it was still sketchy. I really didn't want to be stuck down here at night. As fall approaches, sunset get earlier. I think that's the tracks right there. Looks like it. Oh man, got the tracks, but damn it. Looks like I'm not done trekking on the side yet. I'll check back. Okay, so it looks like there's an easy way to get down from the tracks on this side. I had climbed down right here, which wasn't too bad. It's a little bit sketchy, but I just kind of slid down my butt like a little kid. Uh, so I'd say anywhere you can get uh, towards the, the river from the falls before the cliffs probably would be the best. But if you really want to, look for the 21 sign. That's, it's hard to see, but it's just maybe 20 feet up river from here on the tracks. And uh, there's a little cutout of the cliff here. If you can make it up that, it's a, a little better of a spot to get down to the river. But I'd still recommend somewhere back towards where I parked on the tracks. Uh, whew. But that'll do it for this one. The GoPro is almost out of battery. Unless I'll try to save some in case I do see that tunnel on the way back. But if I don't, I won't bother updating. So like always, please like, share, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I can't say that enough. I don't usually say it more than once, but this was an extraordinarily difficult mission. So I think it warrants it. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Down to 6% battery life. I know I said I wasn't going to do an update, but I'm going to. This is where the cliff starts again on the side of the train tracks. I, I don't know for sure, but I would check it going in here and heading down to the river. Uh, you know, it's up to you. You can do it my way, but I wouldn't really recommend it.